All right. Hello there, and welcome to another recording. I never posted the other recording that I did before making this one. It is the 13th right now, so we're doing good. It is halfway, officially halfway, I believe. It's been like two weeks since the start of Art Fight, and I want to do like a halfway through Art Fight recap, which is why this exists. On the second day of Art Fight, I decided to record a little snippet, not really a snippet. It was supposed to be a full video talking about the prep work that I do within or like before and within Art Fight and like what what my process is to doing these attacks. And it was very highly unscripted and I just wanted to get something out there and to maybe edit it into a video. I don't know. I didn't have time for that, but I do want to recap the last two weeks because maybe it'll help somebody. I don't really know. So I'm not really going to be talking about prep work because I'm probably going to re-record re that previous audio and talk about it probably on the script this time. But for this one, I'm just going to be talking and it's going to be off script. So um, I don't think that you can really expect subtitles anytime soon. If anything, it'll be provided after Art Fight ends. but. Right now, I kind of want to focus all my energy into my current distractions within Art Fight, and a video is not is just not one of them that I really want. Like subtitling a video is just not something that I want to put a lot of my energy into right now because uh, it it's very time consuming. It doesn't take a whole lot of brain power, but it's very time consuming. I'm just gonna be talking, to be honest. I'm just gonna be yapping, and if I get off topic, then I'm sorry. I get off topic. But, as of this moment, I have completed seven attacks. <laughs> it's not a whole lot. I have two others that are fully sketched out, plus a third one, which I'm realizing now I probably did not need to sketch because I don't know just yet whether or not I want to start revenging mass attacks, but I might. I don't know, but I might. Or I might not. I have like what? Let me let me check real quick. 14 new revenges since the start of Art Fight. I've been getting one almost for almost every single day. First two weeks, almost every single day, I've been getting one attack. It is the 13th, which means that I'm getting like a decimal percentage. I'm getting a decimal of attacks one plus a decimal of attacks each each day so that's great <laughs> my battle ratio is suffering in any case i do want to talk about like how it's been so far so within the first week i think like the first what two days i spent two days yeah i think two days two days i spent actually sketching out everything i um got like the first round of sketches in the first day and then the second day I got the last round of sketches in I put them all onto my computer and then I started working on them digitally and that has been a journey it's taken about a day each to do all of these works realistically I could complete one of these in like two three hours if I really really put my mind to it but I don't start early enough because I wake up too late and then I end up not working on it when it becomes nighttime because I have other distractions going on, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more. So, first half of the first week was going well. Like, it was- I was knocking out one, two, um, attacks each week. But then, but then, <laughs> then I got to the weekend of, like, heavy, heavy distractions. And now production has slowed significantly because I- live in the states the united states of america and art fight takes place in july so guess what we have a lot of fireworks happening on the 4th of july and the 4th of july there's usually like a huge 4th of july celebration raw america we love it we our future looking so freaking good right now huh yep <laughs> it definitely is just trust me on that <laughs> trust <me. laughs> Okay, anyways, so <laughs> I may be a little, uh, maybe a little, um, 
spastic. I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind. In any case, <laughs> on the 4th of July, I actually, last year and this year, I decided to volunteer for a celebration that my city is actually putting on. And it hosts it every single year, I'm pretty sure, for like the last 50 something years. But that one is interesting. So it's it's just a celebration for 4th of July. They have like this huge carnival and usually um, the last two years I've been working in the, the craft section for kids. So you basically just have a bunch of craft supplies and then you instruct them how to craft it and then you just watch them craft it and help them if they need it to. Last year it was absolute hell because our booth is facing the, the sun, where the sun rises and set. Actually, where it sets. I can't remember where it sets. I don't... It sets either east or west, and we were facing one of those directions. And the buildings that it was nearby, while they are big enough to provide the shade that we would need, we are not behind those buildings. So we get the full effect of the sun. In on top of that, the tent is very enclosed. It's like only we have a tent. It doesn't help at all when the sun starts to set, and because the sun is is legitimately setting the in the direction that our tent does not have a wall in. I don't know if I explained that correctly. Maybe I'll make like a little sketch for you and I'll show you if I remember. I might not remember. I might not have time for it either. Um, I'll make time. <laughs> Empty promises. In any case, so our tent, of course, is like a rectangle. Three of the walls are just covered, and one of the long walls that is facing where the sun is setting is not covered, and that's where people enter in from the craft station. Every single year, it has been unbearably hot in that tent because there's literally no ventilation, no airflow. And also, we're being gazed upon by the sun, the outer-worldly being that controls our entire planet, that is- that dictates what type of life lives on our planet, is literally beaming down at us through that tent spot. Yes, through the tent space. Oh my god, words are coming out of my mouth and I only mean like a third of them. <laughs> but yes. That was the case, and also there's a lot of people that were in there, so it was very, very hot through body heat as well. And last year, I'm not gonna lie, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for this later on, but um, let's just say that they took way better care of their volunteers this year than they did last year, because like, the people that were working there were very- they checked up on us a lot, they offered us water a lot, they gave us fans, like little- not- not actual fans, but like little flyers, and they were like, fan yourself with this, and like, if you need breaks, they kept on reminding us about the breaks, and they kept complaining about like, how hot it was, so you could tell that they were really, really trying to like, make sure that nobody passes out, and that all the volunteers are good, because like, I mean, it's- it's hot as hell there. Overall, it was very, very fun, but- I was out there for five hours. I did not take a break because I was barely doing anything, to be honest. There were not a whole lot of people who needed help, and there was only like one or two volunteers needed at each station at most, but we all- we- both of our stations had like two. I don't know, the organization this time around was way better, and the- the way the volunteers were actually like being checked up on and treated this year was also way better. So it was just all around a better experience. We're gonna say that. Um, I don't talk much, so hopefully I don't get in trouble for that. But in any case, <laughs> two days later, I went with two of my best friends to Anime Expo. I went on Sunday. I did not really, like, it was, we planned this, like, a couple of months prior. We didn't buy our tickets when it was like free shipping. My friends bought their tickets when it was like you pay for your shipping as well. And then I had to go to pick up my tickets. Me and my mom went to go pick up our tickets at the roll call window, which was quite the walk. 
And that one was also very eventful. It was very, it was a very good experience, I would say. Like, it was fun, I'd want to go again. I didn't really do much, though. <laughs> to be honest, a lot of the fun that comes from cons, to me, is just hanging out with my friends and then walking around and seeing all these exhibits. Just being outside and, like, seeing other people get together for this one big thing. Because last year, was it last year? I don't know if it was last year. It might have been last year. I went to a comic con, not during summer, not during art fight at all, but that one was really fun, but I didn't actually do anything big, like go to panels or meet and greets or even meet up with other cosplayers. Like I didn't even cosplay that one. And again, we also went on Sunday. I don't do a whole lot at cons, to be honest, but it is very, very fun to go to them. I am, I'm one of those boring con goers that just goes there and has absolutely no clue as to what the, what the heck I'm supposed to do there. But I would go again. That was very, very fun. I saw some artists that I have seen making YouTube videos about Artist Alley, which was really cool. And my friends wanted to go to certain artists, so we would check out different booths. It was a lot of walking. My legs hurt for a very long time after that. <laughs> and I had some nice interactions with other people that were there at the con. I found out that it's not just anime, like, when I think of Anime Expo, I think that it's just anime, but that's because I literally have no idea what goes on in Anime Expo, and this was very enlightening. I found out that it's not just anime, it's also western cartoons, video games that are not necessarily about anime. I saw people cosplaying as Lethal Company, Helldivers, Five Nights at Freddy's, that's not anime, but it's a game. And then there's also people that go there who cosplay MCYT. And if you have kept up with my Instagram or my Twitter or anything else, if you've seen like the, the photos that I have up on my unveil, you will know if you do recognize the characters. If you don't recognize it, then you wouldn't know. But you would know if you do recognize them that they're all about Hermitcraft and the related factions on YouTube. I don't know why I just call them factions, but like the, the related community on YouTube. So it was very interesting to go in with Life Series merch and then have someone approach me and ask me about Life Series merch. So now I know that there's actually people there who, who do go just for MCYT. So that's interesting. <laughs> But yeah, that was my second distraction. Around the same time, I think like during the 4th of July or maybe the day before, I don't really remember, but Zenless Zone Zero got released as well. So throughout the entire time up until Anime Expo, I think, I was hearing about it from my brother because my brother is very big on Hoyoverse games. He played Genshin, got really obsessed with it. I think he tried out Honkai Star Rail, but I don't think that he could get into it like he could get into Genshin. And then he started playing Zenless Zone Zero when it came out. And then he told me about it and then recommended it to me. And I, and because I had seen some promotion for it and I was like, you know what? This fits my aesthetic so much better. If you've seen anything of my branding, any part of my branding, it definitely, and if you've seen anything that's like within that game, you can definitely tell that like this would appeal to me a little bit more than some than the other ones, I would say. Well, to be honest, I can only really speak for Genshin because I'm I've not really seen that much about Honkai. In any case, I finally caved in and got the game. So now <laughs> And the main reason why I I am not waking up early enough to actually finish any of these Art, art fight attacks in a timely manner and within my time zone is because I stay up late playing that game and so does my brother so it's not just me we just have horrible sleeping habits and that's the only time that we can find to play this damn game it's been incredibly fun and because I have so many people who are also interested in it that's just like around and in my life like I have a friend who's really interested in it my own brother is interested in it I have other mutuals and other connections who are interested in it and I've seen like a lot of hype for it I would say that it is becoming more and more of a big distraction for me <laughs> from art pipe so 
there's that. Also, because I think the I think Hermitcraft went into kind of like, well, at least the from the Hermitcrafters that I watch a whole lot, they started picking up the pace on um, making more content this time around, because it kind of slowed down around the beginning of Art Fight, and now it's starting to pick back up again because people are they're. Uh, recovering from being sick, they're coming back from being sick, or they're coming back from vacation, or they actually have ins um, ideas and inspiration for what they want to do on the on the server. And there's also a bunch of other storylines going on. So, Hermitcraft content has been picking up again, and that has uh, also been a massive, massive um, distraction for me because I seem to get distracted pretty easily. If, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but whenever I speak, especially off script, there's always these long, long pauses in the in between what I say, and a lot of the times my words get very jumbled up. That's partially to blame for the fact that I don't really think in words, but rather in like concepts and experiences. And this is like a whole other tangent that. I don't know if I'm going to include the entire bit of, and I'm going to try to keep this short, but like, I don't think with words all the time. Like, I do think with words, but then I'm also thinking with, like, music going on in the background, um, sounds, visuals, and concepts, like feelings, and emotions, and just like, deja vu. I don't know how to explain it other than that, but like, it's all of those things at once. That's what's going on in my head. So, me making sentences is not- it's not always going to be coherent sentences, okay? I'm not the best at English, I can't speak very well, that's why I need the f- I need- I need the script, I'm not gonna curse, I need- I need the script! <laughs> I think the last- last recording that I had, I did curse a bit, and I justified it by saying it's needed for effect. I'm not gonna do it this time, the only curse words I've said so far are hell and damn, so I've had a good streak. We're not gonna- we're not gonna curse. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of the times pauses in what I say is, uh, pauses in my sentences and like s stuttering or like me repeating parts of my sentences is typically because I get distracted or I need to clear my- clear my head and like actually figure out what the- what I want to say. Almost cursed again. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god. Yeah, um. <laughs> I'm doing fine. I think I'm doing good. It's also been getting a little bit hotter in Southern California, so I'm less and less likely to actually be up in my room around two or three to start drawing my art fight attacks because I want to do everything digitally and I also don't like drawing on paper downstairs where there is no space to draw anything on paper. And when I say no space is that like, we have tables and stuff, but there's just no room on any of the tables. And if there is room, the surface is textured and I don't like the texture. My desk, however, is not textured, which is why I do everything up here. And it is, I think I've mentioned this before in a different video, but people probably haven't watched that one. So I will restate it again, but my room is upstairs. It is not in a very ventilated spot like it is it is ventilated there we have a door and a window and there's like a clear pathway but my door isn't on the opposite wall of the window so it's not the clearest pathway it has to the air has to like curve to go through the door so it's not as ventilated as you would hope it would be so it does get pretty pretty hot up here also because my house does not have any AC, it's a very old house, so it's just, you're just, uh, for lack of better terms, and I guess this is your PG warning, you're basically just raw-dogging the heat every time that it becomes summer, so there you go. <laughs> Anyways, with that out of the way, with that note, um, that's the end of this. Hope you have a good art fight. I'm going to try to be more productive. Hopefully in the next two weeks, I can complete at least, like, what, seven more attacks? 
I'm gonna have to grind really, really hard. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a hot, have what? Have a happy art fight. Yes, my words. I, I can word, yes. 